Ladies and gentlemen, the impossible has been done. Okay, well, technically, it's not the impossible. It's more on the, the expensive as it has been done. I've hunted down one of these. A universal onslaught booster box, but not just one. I got two. And hopefully, I only have, only have to open one. In case you have no idea what the hell this is, if you haven't seen my first 85 attempts at this box, this is the uh, one of the more recent sets of the of the DBS TCG. Well, not really recent. It came out a couple months ago. But this card, or this box, has a very, very expensive secret rare card yeah. inside called the Apex of Power. That card essentially is the modern-day version of the UI Goku that came out two years ago from the TOP set. Which, by the way, that card recently sold for like $4,500. $4,000. $500 as a PSA 10 grade, which is ridiculous considering the fact that a month ago when I made my video covering that card It was worth like $2,000. So the price of these cards have been insane. So yeah, that's the successor That card is a successor and it's available in this set and this set is, is more and more harder to find as time passes But I got I actually got an email from uh, the Golden War Toro the other day. Big shout to Adam and he says hey I got two boxes. I'll sell you one. We can do a box battle and Hopefully we'll both end up pulling the card and I said yeah, sure because I want the set so here we go. This is the box I bought from him, but I'm not going to open that yet. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in the back because the condition that is very, very, very beautiful. And I kind of want to hang on to that one. But I bought this one a couple weeks ago, and I'm hoping that this is the last time I ever have to open this box again. As you can see, it's got an $80 price tag sticker on it, which, by the way, this is not an $80 box. It's like a $150 box now. And hopefully, we can walk away with the highly sought after Apex of Power. And if I don't end up pulling it, in the description below, I'll actually have a link to Adam's video, who's also doing an opening of his box as well. And hopefully one of us walks away with it. Worst case scenario, I hope I pull the SPR super rare, crazy, beautiful looking beers that's available in the set as well. Here we go. Hopefully the last time I do this. Please. Now my luck actually in this set has been kind of bananas. In case you haven't been keeping up with the openings, cause I know the card openings aren't for everybody. You know, it's not legends, it's not fighters, yada, yada, yada. This is more of a niche kind of uh, content I do on the channel. I actually have pulled essentially the equivalent of LRs and, S, uh, and LFs in this set like five times now. I pulled the secret rares like five times I want to say. I pulled uh, three copies of the Cell, which is like a $300 card. So I made basically $900 off of that. And I pulled the other one, which is more like a $200 card. So I basically made like $1,100 off of like four pulls. But it was always the other secret rares, not the one I'm looking for. So I'm hoping that this is the very, very last time I ever do this. In fact, you know what? Let's kind of go all out. We'll, have, we'll just pop this out in the back and we'll have this kind of sitting here like this as I go through it. So here we go. Here's the Kakarot card you get. As you can see, this this side you know this is an old set. This came out when Kakarot came out back in January, I want to say, around that time. All right, let's move this to the side. And let's just do one at a time. Now, worst case scenario, I hope I don't pull a uh, a God Pack. A God Pack, basically, I pulled before. Um, you guys have seen me complain about this. A God Pack is the same rarity as a Secret Rare, but essentially, it's not that special because Every pack inside uh, the, the pack, every card inside a pack is going to be holographic. Essentially, think about like pulling a multi summon in Dokkan and everything is an SSR. That's cool and all, but it's not the LR you're looking for. And the reason why I don't like God Packs is because. Oh my god, I thought we got the SPR already. The reason why I don't like God Packs is because uh, it's the same rarity as a Seeker Rare. And either you get a God Pack in the case or you get like uh, a Seeker Rare. So it's like. who. We all rather get a, a LR or an LF than a multi sum full of sparkings and SSRs. I mean, that's kind of like how it is when it comes down to it. But yeah, now if I pull this Apex of Power Goku and Vegeta, the card by itself is like a $500, $600 card to, to buy the card just by itself on eBay. And if you get it graded, we're talking about crazy potential as far Oh my god, we pulled the best SPR! Yo, this is like a $30 card, I want to say. That, that is a hit. That is a good, good hit. Okay, yeah, this is like a, a $30 or special. This is the best SPR you can pull in the box. It's not the Beerus because, I mean, honestly, I would love to get the Beerus instead because I don't have them yet. But that is definitely a banger. Now, the question is, is will the rest of the box be a dud? I hope not. We can still technically pull a Seeker Rare, um, but either the, the second half of this opening is going to be an absolute banger or it's going to suck. I'm hoping that it ends up being a banger because we kind of depressing. <sighs> Depressing to get this far and then and then not pull anything else in the box. I got excited because I saw a hollow or a foil card. And usually if you get a foil card, it's in front of something else super rare. Every single time, I swear to God, whenever I try to do recordings, is, is the best time for landscaping to run up to my window. I, it happens every single time. Like, bruh, I was I was sitting here for about two hours without a peep outside of my window. And the second I started recording, it's like, you know what? Let's go bother Ryan. Anywho. 
It's funny because I swear you guys have heard me complain about that before and I'm telling you I always wait and the second I start recording the 20 minute you know moment where it takes you to record a video That's why whenever people run up to my window and bother me anywho back to what I was saying So this the rest of this box is either going to be really really fire or it's gonna suck There's no in between because there's nothing else that we, that we can really pull that's worth the hype I mean you might get a couple of SRs here and there that are worth you know like 10 15 20 bucks but really what you're looking for is a secret rare and even if it ends up being like a shadow dragon or the um the uh the cell it'll be hype but again i'm hoping that this is the last time i have to do this again and we walk away with the, the apex of power there's also that possibility we might get a god pack in which case it's gonna be very, very depressing because knowing it's like oh my god it, it could have been this it could have been that now the way a box battle works in case you have no idea and you don't keep up with card opening channels basically uh we get two sets of boxes i get a box and then the person i'm battling gets a box and we both open it and then you guys are basically you're going to watch both uh, boxes and tell us who pulls the better pulls right now technically i'm i'm winning with that cooler that cooler is the most valuable spr you can get in the set i believe um and i think the next best one is i think the next best one might be might be beerus but i might be wrong on that oh my god Oh, we got the, the special rarity hit, the leader card. I love this card because the, the R on this is insane. I'll pull this before, though. Yeah, right now, I feel like I'm winning. Uh, Adam, I'm sorry, but my box is looking fire. Unless you pull that SPR or a secret rare in general, or maybe even a god pack. I think I got this in a bag. I absolutely got this in a bag. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Because I've opened uh, the Universal Onslaught set so many times, and it's getting more and more harder to find the boxes, I don't ideally want to open the box I bought from Adam. Watch that box be the one that actually has the Apex of Power. But if you guys do want to see another attempt at this box, at this set, I will try to like hunt it down online. And uh, if the prices aren't ridiculous, like I said, the last time I bought this box, it was like a $90 box. And when I bought this specific box from Adam, it was like a $150 box. The prices are getting up there. So it's getting more and more expensive and harder to get. But if you guys really, 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 really want to see me blow money and potentially get excited about pulling a very, very rare card, then uh, you can let me know by leaving a like in the comment or something. I don't know, something that tells me, hey, we enjoy this kind of content, do more, and I'll try to hunt down more. If not, I'm probably just going to keep that box I got from Adam sealed and then, and then never have to deal with this again and, and then basically try to bite the bullet and buy Apex of Power because it's the only way I'm ever going to end up getting it. Unless, of course, it pops up right now. No, it's just Emperor's Death Beam. Okay. Yeah. I think we have... Okay, so these are the last two packs on the right side. I don't know if they uh, arrange their cards any specific way. Like if basically an SPR, the special rare cooler I got, is in the right side and a potential secret rare is on the left side. I have no idea. You could get something in the last pack. You can probably get SPR and the secret rare back to back, which means don't open the rest of the box. Wait a minute. Oh my god, again, you, you got that hollow of rare, and it's like there's something else behind it. It could be the secret rare. Nope, it's just a special rarity uh, super boo that's actually not that rare. But to explain what that is, is every DBS set box always comes with, um, they always come with like a special rarity every single time, like a villain rare or a hero rare. Like how I pulled that hit, there's like a le there's leader card for that. There's also like the special rare villain cards, like the boo. There's also a Frieza, there's a Cell. Uh, those come in like four per box or something like that. They, they don't really. Oh, speaking of hit, that's a nice looking SR. Yo, look at that. Again, I love the art in this. If you're looking for DBS uh, boxes, by the way, I recommend trollandtoad.com and I also recommend, um, oops, as I bump the, the camera, like as I do in every single car opening video ever, uh, I recommend uh, Troll and Toad and Amazon because they're, they're the best as far as prices and ease of getting. That makes sense. So, yeah, go over there, just check it out. I think there's only one set out right now, which is the Rise of the Unison Warrior, which both me and Nano actually have opened recently. And I think a new set's coming out fairly soon. Um, so just get, get them as they come out. If you see something that has crazy art, you can buy the card individually, or you can just. Oh my god, again, there's the special rarity. This time we got Vegeta's Final Flash. Um, yeah, just feel free to get either you know boxes of the new sets that come out or just individual cards as they pop up. But keep in mind, cards ain't cheap. You think you think you know spending money on gacha games gets expensive? Nah, trading cards are a whole different game. And the reason why is because these cards only go up in value. What you buy today is gonna be worth twice as much next year. I mean, again, I I talk about this a lot. You know, I, I bought a box, a Pokemon box for like three grand back in 2017. That same box is, is worth uh, like $40,000 today. I'm not even kidding. Like people are actually paying that much for it. 
Training cards and collectibles are ridiculous. So yeah, if you're looking to, to get into, into a card game, DBS TCG, man. I keep saying this because it's like, by the time these cards blow up and, you know, time passes, people will be like, wow, I should have gotten into this. Yeah, you should have. On top of that, I mean, just look at the art. Just look at the art in these, you know. People always ask me, do you play? I don't actively play. I have played before. It's a pretty fun game. I just don't play just because I, they never had like an official release. I know there's websites you can u actually use to play each other. I've never used those personally before, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if this ever came out on like the Nintendo Switch or something, I would eat it up. I would play so much of the DBS TCG because it's, it's a lot easier to play with friends uh, than it is right now. And I would love something like that. But hey, plan B, they're great for collecting. Like I said, this art right here is pretty fire. Oh my god. That yeah, look at that. That is a holographic rare and then an SR. This is basically the same card as this, by the way. So it's an SPR essentially what it is, is just an alternate art of the same. Like these cards are exact same. Same effect, same everything. Just this card looks more beautiful, which is why people want it. So this is actually a good hit again. This is actually a really, really good hit. On top of that, look at that art, man. You can't tell me that the DBS TCG art ain't fire because it absolutely is flames. It is flames. We know it's even more flames this pack right here because it's about to have the card i'm looking for ready for this are you excited i'm excited watch this i need to stop saying watch this watch this has failed me every single time i've ever ever used it i should stop really saying watch this observe this oh my god <laughs> i saw the foil but it's just a uh, holographic uh, uncommon so it wasn't gonna have anything fire in there but hey you know a double hit per pack so it's still technically not not bad okay adam did you pull anything good yet I have no idea what Adam's pulling. Uh, I, I told him I'll record my opening. He's gonna record his. And then whenever that opening opening gets uploaded, I'm gonna watch it the, the same time you guys are. And it's gonna be in the description below. So hopefully he pulls some heat. If I don't pull the secret rare, I want him to pull it. I just wanna see some excitement of seeing that card come up. Man, I, I get so jealous too. I've seen uh, people, um, I've seen people on Instagram and everything always like pull that card. It's like, oh yeah, I opened one pack, pull the secret rare. It's like, ah, wish that was me. <laughs> I wish that was me. All right, let's get into the next one. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. My hope is kind of dying down. My hope is dying down. To kind of explain the rarity of Seeker Rares, so I believe a case is 12 boxes. Usually it's six, but I think in DBS TCG specifically, it's 12 boxes. If I'm wrong on that, correct me down below. And usually a Seeker Rare is like one per case. So that's one per six boxes. That's why it's so hard to pull Seeker Rares. They're basically rarer to get than LRs and LFs and all that stuff. I'm not even kidding. So that's why it's like when you pull a secret rare, it's a big deal. But it's like if you pull a secret rare, will it be the right one? And I pulled, like I said, I pulled five in the set, which is like some crazy nano Dokkan luck right there. It just happened to be the rhyme side of the luck where I didn't pull the one I'm looking for. Ah, just a super 17. I kind of saw the shine in the corner when I was going through the packs. So I thought that was going to be a fire, fire pack. It's not. It's just a 17 that nobody cares about. Okay, we have four packs left. Four packs left, which means depression. It's starting to kick in, unless we're gonna end it with a banger. Please end it with a banger. <laughs> uh, please, hello, DBS DCG, help me out. Just this one time, just this one time. Nope, it's just a rebrand, which I'm not even gonna put in my pile, I'm gonna just throw it. All right, we got a reverse uh, Vegeta, which is nice though. All right, we got three packs left. Surely this Frieza pack artwork isn't going to fail me, right? This Frieza pack artwork is about to be on my side. Surely it will be, right? Because Frieza is one of the coolest anime villains of all. Oh, wait. It's a god pack! Oh no! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. The disappointment. It's exciting, but it's like, why me? My god pack, look, has. So this is a god pack. Every card is holographic. The reason why I don't like these is because you you can't get an SPR or Seeker Rare inside these. I wish, but look, Seeker Rare, or, or uh, not Seeker Rare, but SR Frieza, and SR UI Goku, and SR Vegeta, SR Cell. That is kind of crazy. Basically, this could have been a Seeker Rare. This could have been the Apex of Power instead. It's, it's fire, but it's like, ah! Leave it to my luck, man. I cannot stop pulling. Oh, so there's no point opening these. This is gonna be just crap, right? Surely, if, 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 there's no way. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't get, you can't get a secret rare and a god pack in the same pack. You get one or the other. Oh my god, what a way to end it! Yeah, look at that. Barrier hope, nothing else. What a way to end it! I mean, I'm not mad. I'm slightly disappointed. 
That was a fire way to go out, but oh, it could have been the apex of power. Okay, so the only way to add him will will win now is essentially if he pulls a secret rare itself or the secret rare apex of power Goku and Vegeta. So I don't know what he's gonna get. I'm gonna just check the description below uh, and click that link at the same time it goes live for you guys, and hopefully he pulls some heat. But for now, apex of power still loots. Oh my gosh. Now the question is, is do I open my last box? You decide.